I want to show you the basics you need to start actually painting, like the materials you need. I think this will help you just like to just get a starting point and then just really practicing. Okay, so first things first, the three colors that you always need with the three cans are white, black, and crystal clear. This makes things like reflections. This gives you shadows, light and dark, light and shadow. And then this gives you basically the ability to make the paint wet again so you can scratch it. Both important, all important, I mean. Painter's palette, not necessary, but if you want one, go ahead and have one. You'll look the part, is what I'm saying. You'll just look the part, that's basically it. If you care or not, it's up to you. You really can just spray on your table though, right? You also need a surface, like a table or some something to spray paint. After that, different plates, different circular objects. They don't have to be like this. I don't even know what this is. This is like a chandelier thing that you put at the top, so and the chain hands hangs from here. There's a plate. There's a plastic plate. Uh, you can use other circular objects like a can. Right? That could be a circular, circular object, a spray paint cap. Also make sure you have these too. It's a very important. Those are like your lifesavers. Okay, last thing you need. Well, not the last thing. Second to last thing. Second to last thing you need is this. This is poster board, right? People always ask me, what do you paint on? It's poster board. All right, go like this. Bend it in half. Not bend it, but like oval it. Like bend, bend it a little bit. And if you look straight down to the other edge like this, you'll see it being like shiny, like glossy. It will look like like ice, almost, if I can explain. Turn it this way, nothing, it's dull. It looks like snow. That's what it looks like, snow. I think those are two good tips to have because you want to paint on the icy side, the shiny side. Shiny and matte, right? Paint on the shiny side. Because if you don't, you can't put texture in it. Okay, uh, most importantly though, your spray paint mask. And it's not really necessary. It really is not necessary. But newspaper, right? You'll become, the majority of your paintings will contain newspaper. Like, you'll have to use newspaper. You can use a glove if you wanted to, right? Like this umbrella from like HEB. I can use the material here. As soon, the more you paint, the more you'll like be able to do things like poster board, even poster board itself, you can use to paint with. Um, I can use my fingers. I can use my fingers to add texture to plants. I can, um, gloves, anything. Garbage bags. Garbage bags are so useful. They're so useful. But anyway, if you're making landscapes, you need this. All in all, I think that's all you need to start painting, that is. Yeah, that's about everything. Of course, standard clothes that you'll always wear when you paint, right? You don't want to get your whole wardrobe painting, paint, uh, like painted. I've had that happen, it's terrible. All right, if you want to throw in a color in there, pick your favorite color, just use it, all right? Then you'll start things coming alive and it's a beautiful thing. All right, good luck. I hope this video was insightful. It was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up, share it with others who are trying to spray paint. And um, just uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Everything I showed you can be found at Walmart. Everything. All right, good luck, guys.